Ask or did buy I go to sleep. There is a Greek proverb. A society grows great when old men plant trees whose shade they know they shall never sit in. What are the greatest examples of this in human history? Joseph Bazalgette was a Victorian engineer who masterminded London's modern sewer system in the 1860s. He foresaw the insane population growth and when all the calculations were made on how big to bore the pipes underground, he essentially said now let's double it. Now, infrastructure that would have been unable to cope in the 1960s is still in use today. Yeah, he also insisted on the use of Portland cement which was much more durable. That said, it still just dumped the effluent into the river, turning it toxic. Several people died from ingesting the dirty water while trying to escape a sinking ship in the SS Princess Alice accident. HTTPS colon slash slash EN dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash sinking underscore OF underscore SS underscore Princess underscore Alice closed bracket dot. But you really appreciate the better sewers when you visit other cities that weren't so lucky to have such a visionary engineer and you can smell the sewers on the street as they weren't dug as deep. Japanese people aged 60 or older volunteered to fix problems in the Fukushima nuclear power plant, knowing that they would probably die of natural causes before the radiation damaged them in the long run. I don't know if they actually did it though. They did. The radiation around the plant wasn't high enough to result in sickness, but it was still a possibility they had to be made aware of and it is still a noble thing they did knowing that information. During the Napoleonic Wars there was a Royal Navy Admiral who went on leave used to wander his country estate planting oak trees to provide timber for the Navy. It's estimated they are about ready now. Sweden did something similar. And then the Office of Forestry informed the Navy that their oaks are ready now, in 1975. A lot of the examples in this thread are ones I've heard before, though they are still great dart. One I don't see mentioned often is the, written Korean language, https colon slash slash, en, dot wikipedia, dot org, slash wiki, slash hangul question mark w profs flower one close bracket comma hangul. One dude, King Sejai, basically sat down and created a whole alphabet so people wouldn't have to continue using the adopted Chinese hanja that were complicated and difficult to learn. His goal was to increase literacy among all levels of society, not just the wealthy elite who had the time and resources to learn hanja. It received a lot of pushback from the wealth elites, of course. But following the end of Japanese colonialism in the early 20th century it gained popularity and is now the official written language in both North and South Korea. I was stationed in Korea for a year. It's a phonetic alphabet, easy to learn. I still have my old handmade flashcards around here somewhere. Dashrath Manji Also known as Mountain Man, was an Indian laborer from Jellor village near Gaia in the state of Bihar. When his wife died in 1959 due to injury caused by falling from a mountain and due to the same mountain blocking easy access to a nearby hospital in time, he decided to carve a 110 meter long, 360 feet, and 9.1 meter wide, 30 feet, wide path and 7.7 .7 meter deep, 25 feet, path through a ridge of hills using only a hammer and a chisel by himself. After 22 years of work, Dashrath short and travel between the Atri and Wazaganj blocks of Gaia district from 34 mile to 9 mile. He said, when I started hammering the hill, people called me a lunatic but that steeled my resolve, though mocked for his efforts, Manji's work has made life easier for people of the Jello village. In a very literal sense, the landscape gardens of Capability Brown. He carefully crafted these gardens, directing the planting of trees and bushes to create a beautiful vista, where it would take decades for the plants to actually grow to fulfill his vision. Bloody Stupid Johnson Norway's Sovereign Wealth Fund That generation could have taken a selfish view and just taken the cash, or politicians just gone on a vote buying spree. But it's independently invested and managed for the benefit of future generations. Australia and our minds. 
so much money given to billionaires to keep our jobs. The preservation of Chowvat Cave was second to none in the archaeological field. From day one, the three explorers who found it took the utmost care and precautions to ensure they left as little trace as possible in the unopened, pristine chapel of charcoal and ochre. There are strict limits and guidelines for traversing the cave and special access for research purposes, and no tourism. We've learned an immense amount about the site due to their forethought. My favorite is easily the tree root bridges in Meghalaya. Meghalaya has a monsoon season where they get the vast majority of their annual rainfall so the many small streams turn into impassable raging rivers. In order to get around they developed a method of making very strong bridges by stringing the roots of the trees so that they grow across the chasms. This was obviously a slow process that would take several generations of caring for the trees to complete. In the end after passing the knowledge and responsibility down to their children, and their children's children, they would have a strong bridge that could last hundreds of years. Public Infrastructure People got to live to see the opening of one rail line or bridge, or several, but the integrated network of public infrastructure, that took a 100 years to grow and is still growing. Similarly, the US National Parks system. A great decision was made to invest in preservation decades ago, and we have been enjoying the benefits since. Nikolai Vavilov, Russian botanist, along with his fellow researchers, they all starved themselves to death in order to preserve the Leningrad Seed Bank which came under the heavy German attack during the Seeger of Leningrad, 1943. In case it's not clear, they died protecting the seed bank. The seed bank which was full of edible seed and tubers. I can't fathom the self-control that took. Mabel Pinghua Lee was a suffragette. But because she was not a US citizen, she knew that even if she succeeded she would still not be able to vote. The giant cathedrals in Europe like Notre Dame would take over 100 years to build. So the person who started building it would work their whole life on it and know they wouldn't be alive to see it complete. I have recently been to Cologne's cathedral, they started building it in 1248, they stopped and finished in 1560, then halfway through the 1800s they started building it again finishing it in 1880. Not only the original builders would not see it finished, but neither would their grandchildren. Everyone that took their polio vaccine, you never get your childhood back, and none of those kids that suffered from polio will either. Insulin patent was sold for one dollar. We managed to fuck that one up. But it counts as planting the trees. Even if we're too stupid to sit under the shade. That's not a Greek proverb. It's the invention of a 20th century Quaker writer, whose creation was appropriated in the 1990s by politicians in the United States Congress. They added the byline Greek proverb to make themselves seem more intelligent. That's not a Greek proverb. Greek proverb. Sorry I'm a bit late to the party. But the mayor of Fude, in Japan during the 70s 80s when he was young he survived a tsunami in 1933, saw bodies being dug up during the aftermath. He then went into politics to get a wall built to stop another tsunami that he knew would happen again. It began construction in 1972, took 12 years to build and the town considered it a huge tax waste of taxpayers money. Fast forward to 2011. The town was in direct line of the worst tsunami to ever hit Japan. The village was barely touched. Unfortunately he passed away in the late 80s. But he is considered a hero. He never got to see his efforts fulfilled. But he saved the lives of many people in his village even after his death. His name was Kotaku Wamura. Hectoliters, village left and touched tsunami HTML. Any scientific research that seems like a total waste of time and money right now, like the space race, medicines, nuclear fusion, etc. Dart. Some people might say we should just focus on improving morality and social justice, which is important, don't get me wrong. But let's be real, humans are dumb as rocks and we're always screwing things up. So, 
I'm hoping that eventually we'll come up with some quick fixes that keep us from wiping ourselves out as a species. A great example is Joseph von Fraunhofer. Primarily a designer and creator of optical equipment, in 1814 he tested a new diffraction grating to separate sunlight into its constituent colors, that is the rainbow, and observed large numbers of dark lines scattered throughout. Without knowing what they were or if they meant anything at all he catalogued and described them in painstaking detail. Today they are still known as, Fraunhofer lines, https colon slash slash, en, dot wikipedia, dot org, slash wiki, slash Fraunhofer underscore lines closed bracket dart. It was almost 20 years after Fraunhofer's death that his lines were found to be the signatures of the sun's and other stars chemical makeup and physical characteristics resulting in major advances in astronomy. Joseph Basil Jett, the man who designed London sewers in the 1860s, said well, we're only going to do this once and there's always the unforeseen and double the pipe diameter. If he had not done this, it would have overflowed in the 1960s. Imagine that. A little foresight. The Oxford English Dictionary, as dramatized in the movie The Professor and the Madman. The dictionary is never finished, but on goes the work. Susan B. Anthony spent her entire life trying to get women the vote. She was fined for attempting to vote, and spent years organizing people to fight for the cause. She died in 1906, a decade before the 19th Amendment was ratified. If there is an afterlife, she definitely feels the appreciation of society still. Her grave is constantly visited and decorated with I voted stickers. My friend's wife, um, organic chef and farmer, https colon slash slash i dot imger dot com slash 1b47l5u dot jpg close bracket comma got cancer and died in the prime of life, leaving behind a grieving widow or with a preschool child. As she lay dying, she got up and planted the next crop of vegetables, which she knew would not be harvested by her. Her memorial was, held in a big greenhouse, https colon slash slash, i, dot imger, dot com, slash yqt text p, dot jpg close bracket on the, cooperative farm, https colon slash slash, i, dot imger, dot com, slash hcjlmsr. Dot jpg close bracket dart people shared foods https colon slash slash i dot imger dot com slash cgommbi dot jpg close bracket made from her recipes with her vegetables she literally lived this proverb kinda beautiful thanks for sharing nye bevan Created the NHS in 1948, died in 1960 absolute legend. Sadly his legacy has been slashed to tatters and continues to take damage. He resigned after modest fees for dental services were introduced. I can hardly imagine how angry he would be at the current state of the NHS. Mendel discovered, literally, the seeds of the hereditary system in the mid-19th century, but if I recall well nobody took it seriously until the early 20th century, like 30 years after his death. If I recall correctly Darwin died with a copy of Mendel's work in his to read queue. People figured it out eventually but damn, talk about missing a massive leap by inches there. Jonas Salk refusing to patent the polio vaccine, or seek any profit from it, in order to maximize its global distribution. During his famous television interview, Edward R. Murrow asked Salk who owned the patent to the polio vaccine. Well, the people, I would say, Salk responded. There is no patent. Could you patent the sun? The civil rights mob emt. MLK knew he wouldn't be alive to see integration. True. It's clear he knew this and nonetheless persisted. The day before he was assassinated, he gave his I've been to the mountaintop speech and said. But I want you to know tonight, that we, as a people, will get to the promised land. So I'm happy, tonight. I'm not worried about anything. I'm not fearing any man. 
mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. George Washington refusing to be a king so that a fair society had a chance to remain. So many forget, John Hanson, https colon slash slash en dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash john underscore hansen closed bracket dot dot the president that was not the first president an odd fact his surname is in the final y dna sub clay does erickson the viking boat man not many are it is very unique y signature it is funny to see quibble over who is what was first on second the old Japanese people who volunteered to clean up nuclear waste sites from the WWII bombings. They knew that they likely wouldn't live long enough to suffer the worst of the effects of radiation, so they did it to protect younger people from experiencing it and to clean up Japan for future generations. It's really heartwarming. They did the same thing after Fukushima. I'm old and will die before the radioactivity kills me, so I will go rescue them. Pretty minor in the grand scheme of things but one that always stuck with me. Benjamin Franklin left $1000. Dollar sign 33k dollar sign 166k inflation adjusted, each to Boston and Philadelphia in a special trust structure where it couldn't even be touched for 100 years, but only really became fully available after 200. In 1990 the city of Boston found that their $1,000 had turned into $4.5 million dollars thanks to the wise handling of the Franklin Institute. Philly only got $2 million because they decided to let the city's board of trusts take over after the first 100 years. Edit, apparently inflation calculators aren't really set up for that length of time. That number should be more accurate. I'm more interested to know when and why so many old people stopped planting and caring about the trees to begin with. It's not as shady these days as the shade they enjoyed in their youth from their elders. Eater you'll know I'm not really talking about trees right exclamation point. The fuck you I got mine sentiment, seems to have always been there but became more prevalent post WW2. Not sure why exactly but I blame boomers and thire parents.